The contagion is all over the city, I'm afraid. Quite decently, thousands are infected, I'm afraid. A chancey, Doctor. Well, she has one chance in, let's say, ten. And that chance is for her to want to live. Your little lady has got it into her mind that she's not going to get well. Has she anything on her mind? What is important to her? She wanted to paint the Bay of Naples someday. Paint? Oh, bosh. I mean, anything that's worth thinking about twice. Uh, is she a man, for instance? A man? Is a man worth... But no, Doctor. There is nothing of the kind. Well, that is a weakness, then. Well, I will do all that science can, but whenever my patient begins to count the carriages in her funeral procession, I subtract 50% from the curative powers of medicines. Now, if you get her interested in the new winter styles, I'll promise you a one in five chance for her, instead of one in ten. I'll visit tomorrow. Good day. What is it, dear? They're falling faster now. Three days ago, there were almost a hundred. Made my headache to count them. 
But now it's easy. Here goes another one. There are only five left now. Five what? Chauncey? Tell your Sudi. Leaves. On the vine. When the last one falls, I must go too. I've known that for three days now. Didn't the doctor tell you? I've never heard of such nonsense. What have old ivy leaves got to do with your getting well? And used to love that vine so, don't be a goosey. Why, the doctor told me this morning that your chances of getting well real soon were... Let's see, what exactly did he say? He said your chances were ten to one. Why, that's almost as good a chance as we have in New York when we ride on the streetcars or walk past a new building. Try to take some more broth now and let Sudie go back to her drawing so she can sell it to the editor man and buy some port wine for her sick girl. No, I don't want any more broth. <coughs> <coughs> I want to see the last one fall before it gets dark. And then I'll go too. Promise me to close your eyes and not to look out of the window till I'm done drawing. I must hand this in by tomorrow. I need the light or I would draw with the shade down. Couldn't you draw in the other room? I'd rather be here by you, sweetie. Besides, I don't want you to keep looking at those silly ivy leaves. Tell me when you're finished. Because I want to see the last one fall. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of thinking. I want to turn loose my hold on everything and go sailing down, down, just like one of those poor tired leaves. Try to sleep. I'm going to ask Mr. Berman up here to be my model for the old cowboy hero. Don't try to move till I get back. that she has become so light and fragile that she will indeed float away like one of the leaves on the ivy. Fuss! It's the people in the world make their foolishness to die because leaves they drop off from a confounded vine. I've not heard of such a thing. No, I will not pose as a model for your cowboy hero Dunderhead. Why do you allow that silly business to come in the brain of her? Fever has left her mind morbid and full of strange fancies. Very well, Mr. Berman, if you do not care to pose for me, you needn't. But I think you are a horrid old... old flibberty gibbet. You are just like a woman. Who said I will not pose? Go on, I'll come with you. For half an hour I've been trying to tell you that I am ready to pose. God, this is not any place in which one so good as Miss Yonzi shall lie sick. Someday I will paint a masterpiece.
это... Pull it up. I want to see. the last one. I thought it would surely fall during the night. I heard the wind. It will fall today. And I shall die at the same time. Johnsy. Johnsy, think about me. If you won't think of yourself. What would I do? Pull it up. I want to see. Sooty, I've been a bad girl. Something has made that last leaf stay there. It is a sin to want to die. You may bring me a little brass now. No. Bring me a hand mirror first. And pack some pillows about me. And I'll sit up and watch you cook. Well, you've won. Nutrition and uh, care. That's all she needs now. Thank you, Doctor. 
Hey, Miss Faulkner. Something to tell you, White Mouse. Mr. Berman died today of pneumonia in the hospital. What? The janitor found him two days ago in his room, helpless with pain. Soaked through an icy cold. No one could imagine where he had been on such a night. And then they found a lantern and a ladder and some scattered brushes. And look. <gasps> Darling, it is Mr. Berman's masterpiece. He painted it there the night the last leaf fell. <laughs> 